good afternoon everyone i think i'm audible uh, so today uh, i'll give a brief description a macroscopic description of integrable systems in confining traps uh, and this work is done with debershi uh, abhishek manas and anupam uh, so this work is sort of a in progress thing so i'll share some of the dynamical observations which we have made um, so the system we work with is integrable uh, integrable system have infinitely many conserved quantities uh, for a large system uh, but these systems uh, are very uh, in, i mean difficult to maintain in a sense that a small defect or uh, um, imperfection will break integrability so a natural question arises what happens because of breaking integrability and this has been studied for uh, many of the corner store ideas of statistical physics for example in transport uh, it is known that for toda model the equilibrium dynamical correlation function scales ballistically however for when it's pinned with a harmonic or a quartic trap at low temperatures they see that harmonic doesn't affect much compared to quartic uh, and uh, uh, santosh just talked about chaos and ergodicity in fpu uh, fpu uh, fermi pasta alarm synco chain uh, so i'll not just go there uh, in the thermalization problem i mean what um, this has been checked experimentally also uh, in a sense that uh, there was this uh, experiment by uh, by shino shino Kinoshita, uh, where they see that uh, they put a Bose gas in an harmonic trap. Bose gas in one D is actually integrable, but when they put it in an harmonic trap, it's supposed to be non-integrable. So they start with the initial condition, which uh, uh, there are two density blobs, and they see that when they let it evolve, it does not thermalize even after thousands of collisions. Uh, so I mean, in here we see in a harmonic trap there is, क्या बोलते हैं, integrability does not break because and i mean sorry uh, in quartic trap they see that the uh, dynamical correlation function scales diffusively diffusively uh, and here we see that uh, in anharmonic trap the system is not thermalizing so it sort of tells us like what we want to do i mean the natural question we ask is what would happen in other anharmonic traps that's what we want to study uh, so such study for classical system was done in uh, for hard rods in harmonic trap where they observed that the hard rods in harmonic trap does not thermalize um, so i mean this kind of motivates our question that we would like to study uh, isolated integrable systems whether they thermalize or not in anharmonic traps uh, or harmonic trap also so we this models we have studied is hard rods uh, which have uh, um, elastic collisions hyperbolic calligraphy model which is integrable model uh, and for short distances the interaction is of the sort 1 by x square and at long large distances the interaction is exponentially decaying uh, for toda model the interaction is exponentially decaying and the i mean they are nearest neighbor interactions only so uh, i mean the goal is to study thermalization however before that we would like to understand how the equilibrium looks like uh, so for that we study the free energy and density at equilibrium and then we focus on thermalization uh, study thermalization by looking at virial theorem which is a microscopic quantity in and the density with uh, will compare density from mo molecular dynamics with monte carlo simulations um so actually to find the free energy for a i mean such systems in an external trap is difficult because uh, you have to solve the partition function uh, but what we i mean what we do is we take some assumptions one of the assumption is that uh, putting the system in a external trap breaks most of the conservation laws except the energy conservation uh, using this assumption and along with further assumptions that is like the partition function of the whole system can be written as partition function of these sub systems Uh, as a product of partition function of these subsystems uh, because these model is short range it seems like a reasonable assumption uh, and we also assume that each box can only only experiences a constant value of potential it doesn't see any profile there uh, using this ideas we actually able to find the partition i mean free energy uh, for hard rods what we see is that in free and i mean the free energy of hard rod uh, there is only external energy and then there is the entropy which includes the like um, exclusion in a sense that these rods cannot overlap uh, so the remaining details probably are not that important one important detail is we find the density uh, by minimizing free energy with respect to the 
uh, density uh, with a constraint. Sorry, constraint that density is normalized. And we see that when external potential is of the form x to the power delta by delta, the density uh, takes a scaling form uh, where the scale variables have to be scaled by n to the power alpha and temperature has to be scaled by n to the power gamma. We are able to compute alpha and gamma exactly. Uh, now we would like to check uh, whether this densities are actually, uh, that's what we get from, um, we want to verify our field theory. So for that, we do Monte Carlo simulations. And here we see that uh, for C is equals to 0 0.1, C is the rescaled temperature. Uh, for 64 and 128 particles, there is a exact collapse uh, or the density collapse. So Y axis is actually scale density and X axis is scale, y, uh, scale position. Uh, we check it for higher temperatures also for harmonic trap and quartic trap, and they show a decent match. Uh, what we uh, notice is that the density at the edges um, is given by exponential of minus beta V, which is like a non-interacting limit in a sense that uh, for the density, to get this density, we don't need to worry about uh, interaction. What we worry about is um, entropy and the trap only. Uh, same goes with co Quartic traps also. Um, now we'll jump to uh, hyperbolic Calogero model. Uh, hyperbolic Calogero model has uh, external trap interaction and the entropy. So what we see again is that uh, when the trap is of the form x bar delta by delta, uh, it again takes admits a scaling form. Uh, we compute these exponents explicitly. I mean, I mean, we get these exponents. And uh, what we see is, uh, from the Monte Carlo simulations is that the densities match with the field theory uh, quite well. And uh, same, similarly, we also notice that in the low density tails, uh, the behavior is as if non-interacting in a sense that only, uh, only the interaction doesn't matter, only the entropy and the trap matters. Um, for TODA model, uh, what we have seen is that free energy to write free energy is a bit uh, more subtle. Uh, and we write free energy in terms of density and pressure. And pressure is related by, to density by equation of state. We have to use these two equations to minimize for the minimize the free energy to get equation 16. Now solving equation 16 numerically is a bit difficult because we have a gamma function sitting here, uh, which is a multi-valued function. So, uh, I mean, yeah, so this is still a thing which we have not completely done. Uh, we are working on this. What we notice from Monte Carlo simulations is that uh, the system size dependence is not there for the density in TODA case in both harmonic and quartic um, uh, traps. Uh, so uh, like this sort of breaks one of the assumptions we have taken for uh, uh, deriving the free energy. That is that we have to take uh, uh, thermodynamic limit in each of the small subsystems. Here we can't take that because there's no system size scaling. So uh, yeah, we'll have to work on this. It's still, uh, we are working on it. What, uh, an, what uh, we also notice that uh, the density at the tails uh, are described by e to the power minus beta V which is again low density limit, it's like non-interacting gas. Um, and our, free, uh, our uh, equation 16 actually explains how the, I mean, that's what we get from our field theory also. Um, we'll, uh, I mean, now that we have a bit more understanding of how the equilibrium looks like, uh, I'll jump into the dynamics part. So for dynamics, what we have done is we have studied a isolated system uh, with specific value of energy for 16 particles and at, comparatively high temperatures for, uh, yeah. And the initial condition is such that in hard roads, we have taken a flat density and the distance between the particles is, uh, uh, average distance is two units, uh, where one unit corresponds to the size of the particle. Uh, what we see is for the virial theorem, which is twice the kinetic energy. Uh, we see that the particle, I mean, the virial theorem is not flat, which would be expected when a system thermalizes. Uh, I mean, we have done it for a long time, basically, and we see that it, it, it's not flat. Uh, similarly, we also see that the density does not match with the field theory or Monte, Monte Carlo simulations. Uh, so in a sense that there is system is kind of not thermalizing. So we also check uh, like what maybe it's a special initial condition. So we check multiple initial conditions and we see that the density does not thermalize uh, for uh, other values of uh, interparticle spacing. Uh, so that's one conclusion that hard rods in harmonic trap does not therm thermalize, which is similar to the one made by uh, Virbal Chandani's paper. Uh, next, we 
study hard rods in quartic trap and here we see that the density does thermalize in a sense that VDL is constant and uh, I mean system does thermalize and the VDL is constant and density is uh, matching the field theory and Monte Carlo simulations. Uh, next we study is hyperbolic Calogero model. Here, one thing I would like to point out is Calogero model for short distances is like a hyperbolic Calogero model for short distances is like Calogero in a sense that one by sine hyperbolic square is one by x square. Uh, and uh, Calogero model in both harmonic and quartic trap is integrable. Uh, but here we notice that uh, from molecular dynamic simulation of hyperbolic Calogero model uh, that it does not thermalize in harmonic, but it thermalizes in quartic. So uh, it's sort of non-intuitive as to why this happens because uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, uh, so we have to explore this. Uh, next, we study uh, dynamics uh, in TODA model uh, where we uh, see that the video theorem does not work uh, in a sense that a video theorem, I mean, the temperatures are not constant, but the density matches with the molecular dynamic simulations. Uh, for quartic trap, we see that the TODA model thermalizes, which sort of is uh, very similar to uh, the very first paper that at all, where we see that, uh, I mean, at low temperatures, uh, TODA can be approximated by a harmonic chain, which is integrable, and this is quartic. Uh, so there it was diffusive scaling. Here we see thermalization. Um, uh, yeah, so that's what we have done. Uh, it's a very preliminary work. So, uh, so the two things which we have done is to study the equilibrium properties, and we also studied uh, whether the system thermalizes or not. So we came up with a scheme for field, constructing field theory of integral models in external trap, um, and it works well for hard, hard rods and hyperbolic Calogero model. We'll test it for TODA a bit more rigorously. We also find the scaling behavior of the average densities. Uh, and we notice that the particles uh, at the edges, in the sense density at the tail, uh, is defined by only trap and entropy, uh, which is like a non-interacting limit. Uh, what we have seen is VDL theorem thermalizes in quartic trap, in a sense that VDL theorem is flat in quartic trap. Uh, in harmonic trap, we do not see uh, such a trend. We see uh, the edges generally fail to thermalize. Uh, density, this is a macroscopic quantity, uh, which thermalizes in quartic trap. And uh, what I mean by thermalize is it's e to the bar described by e to the bar minus beta e. Uh, and uh, same with TODA in harmonic trap, but for hard rods and hyperbolic Calogero models, maybe there are other, I mean, other conserved quantities. That's why we don't get matching with e to the bar minus beta uh, e k corresponding free energy. Uh, so uh, what we have noticed is that there is some initial condition dependence for hard roads. We have to verify it for other models also. And the, in future, in future, in the basics, that's what we are going to do, we are doing now, is equation of state. That is, from free energy, we'd like to compute what the pressure looks like and compare it with the microscopic definitions, average over the micro microscopic definition. Uh, so using these, uh, we are basically, these are in ingredients uh, to start understanding the system in a more hydrodynamic sense. And that's the goal uh, for future. Um, thank you. discussing this, the dynamics uh, for the three models for the first two cases uh, there are some mismatches between the monte carlo and the molecular dynamics while for toda it's matching the molecular dynamics in the monte carlo so i'm just curious miss what might be the thing that is playing the role for which uh, yeah so uh, can come for the other two models and that is not there in case of toda so you're talking about hyperbolic calogero model right I'm talking about the, when you were talk, discussing the dynamics in the end, mostly. Yes, okay. yes. This? Here, uh, there are some mismatches between the molecular dynamics and uh, and, and Monte Carlo, right? Some yeah. mismatches. But, uh, for, but it matches for the TODA. Yes. Uh, so, yeah. So, the idea is that uh, there might be... So, we have taken only energy conservation. That's the first assumption we made that putting a model in a harmonic trap or any trap only conserves energy, other things are broken. So it might happen that there are other conserved quantities corresponding to which 
the free energy will be different because we'll have to take average over e to the power minus beta e plus mu, whatever some other. So th that might change the answer. Whether the landscape is actually creating. Uh -huh. So we do not have, we, ha we haven't checked the initial condition dependence. So you're right. We have to check initial condition dependence and we, maybe the phase space itself is completely fragmented in a sense that it's not able to explore the whole region. So, I mean, we have to check. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Quick question. So, uh, in the case of Monte Carlo, it's constant always. That's because you set it at that value. Level. Yeah, yeah. In a sense, that it's more of a like expectation. Yeah. Any other questions? Uh, so, uh, whatever potential you have used, what determines the length of the dot? Uh, so length of the rod is fixed to one. Uh, so uh, we and the so how we were doing in your uh, the model you are approaching. So there is only excluded volume interaction. Mm -hmm. What is determining that length is length is constant? Uh, because we, I mean, we start with the hard rods. Maybe yes. I don't understand the question. Can you repeat again? Oh, there there is no exclude. The, you have showed some sigma, after which it is uh, infinity the potential. So means I'm telling what determines the dimension of the rod. So oh. A is the dimension of the rod. Yeah, A is one. Okay. Another one is uh, how good is this to um, uh, to just approximate hard rods with the potential? Means how do you do MD with the infinity potential? Yeah. So it's more of an even driven dynamics thing. It's not simple molecular dynamics. We do like we have a chain and then we check the gaps and then see. Let's evolve it for that. So, time. You are telling it's a bit spring kind of model. Sorry, it, is it a bit spring kind of mod model? No, uh, just collision. Oh, okay, okay. elastic yeah, collision. I got it. Yeah, thank you. Quick suggestion, uh, like, I mean, if you can do it or if it makes sense, like if you do microcanonical kind of Monte Carlo, then your temperature will fluctuate like uh, your MD. Uh, so, okay, so, meaningful. Uh, Oh, you can try that, yeah. Okay, fixed energy. Thank you.